So the next important part is the name of this skeletal control wheel. And we go down to our controller name here, so down to controller. And we've got control name, and we need to put in the control name here. So this is hooked up to my front, left, oops, left tire, and control is what I'm going to abbreviate it as T C T R L, and that's going to define it as a nice uh, value here for code purposes. So, okay. So once I've set all the values, I'm going to use this pretty much as a duplicate throughout. So I'm just going to control C and control V, and I'm going to hook this up to my front right tire here. So change the name as you go. Front right. And I'm going to control drag that up. And I'm going to paste again. Get this to my back left. This is going to become my back left controller. And control V one more time. And let's make sure that's all on full out here. And connect to this tire here. And call that the back right. That's it. Okay, so I'm just going to close that. I'm going to save it. Now we need to look at the code. So, this code here I'll link in through the uh, YouTube video. Um, essentially what I need to do is just change my name here. Class shoot car. So this should be um, Rainbow Car 2. And what you want to do is make sure that's the same. Oops. Ah, there's unique day. There it is. And so same name as Rainbow Car 2 here. Sounds good. Let's go back to my code. And Bacara 2, cool. So cruising down, we just have some camera code here for when you get in the car. Um, some code to flip the vehicle if it rolls over. Uh, this is where you run your simulation for the vehicle and some settings for it. Um, one important setting here is your COM offset, which is your center of gravity. Very important. Changing that value makes a big difference. Uh, but we need to assign or set up our code so it points at the correct skill mesh. So here it's pointed, pointed at the skill mesh toot grace car, which is wrong. So we could just name it manually, but we'll just go into uh, UDK. Let me UDK, where are you as usual? And what you can do is, so for skill mesh, right click it and select copy full name of the clipboard. Let's go back to our code. And we can basically just select this section and paste in the new link. So I go back to UDK. And what's the physics asset? Copy full name to clipboard. And we'll do that for physics asset. And we want the animation tree template. Now, which is that one? Full name of the clipboard. And let's go back to our code and place that. Okay, so also this is where the naming is very important in an animation tree and also the name of our joints from 3ds max so essentially this is your 3ds max and this is for your animation tree here and your wheel radius here Okay, I think I set mine at 20, 25. We'll see how it goes. Um, whatever size your wheel is in 3ds Max, this is where you set it for all your wheels. This should be fairly much ready to go. So I'm going to go File, Save As. Where am I going to save it? Okay, I need to go back to my uh, UDK folder. Let me work in July. This will go into Development under Source. And you'll stick it into UDT game classes. And I'm going to call this Rainbow Car 02.uc. Get your extensions right. Save. Minimize that. So, what are we going to do? We've got to compile the code now. So, I'm going to close 3ds uh, UDK down. And then I'm basically going to go to where my executable here is. 
and run my udk.exe shortcut. And it should detect that the script has changed and you go yes. Compile. Uh, yellow is good, red is bad. Okay, what happened with the red? Uh, Chit card, VG vehicle, rainbow car to. Okay, see I got a name slightly wrong there. PP physics. Okay. Okay, there we go. Save. Um, so this will compile all the scripts you have in your scripts file. So errors might be associated with other scripts. But red is bad, yellow is ignorable. So, yeah, okay, whatever. Good to go. So once it's done that, you can run it again. And the editor will run as per usual. Now, I'm pretty sure this is not going to work correctly because there's some orientations issues. So I'm just going to select my Rainbow Car 2 here. You can see it, but we're not going to drag it in from here. We're going to go to Actor Classes because we created an actor. And you can see Rainbow Car 2 here and just drag it in. Ooh, it might actually work beautifully. All right, I think we're okay. We're good to go. So we'll close this. And I'm just going to play in the window. Okay, hello car. Boom. Sweet. And our car is go. And yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Um, the car is working. The wheels should be turning. Um, you can adjust your camera to see the wheels if you like with the socket manager under your editor. But, you know, this is pretty much it. That's a UDK vehicle running around like crazy. Um, this one has normal maps applied, texture applied, specular map applied. Um, you can do lots of other fancy stuff in UDK, but this is essentially all you have to do to get the vehicle up and running. All right, so let's get out of that. And there you go, there's my awesome rainbow car. All right, thanks very much for watching this tutorial. See ya.